Hello everyone, welcome to my talk. I am Turkan Ceylan Baştürk. I am a research assistant at Beykent University and a PhD candidate at Yıldız Technical University in Istanbul. Before presenting my paper, I want to thank the organizing committee for their work. And I want to thank my supervisor, their assistant professor Senem Kaymaz, who is strongly supporting this research. The title of my talk today, Rethinking Urban Archaeology in Terms of Heterotopy and Heterochrony. In the first slide of this presentation, I am going to explain why heterotopia and urban archaeology, which are the main themes of this research, should be combined. Although both arguments have rich research histories in academic file and so far they haven't been considered jointly. This study aims to join them because the heterotopic concept allows a better understanding of urban archaeology in contemporary discourses and design methods. Moreover, it enables us to see the different potential of archaeological sites except for its normative characteristic. To begin with, I am going to explore French philosopher Michel Foucault's epistemology consisting of discourses and visibilities, and then I am going to share his heterotopic concept with Edouard Manet painting. French philosopher Michel Foucault developed an imminent analyzing method seeking discourses of the object themselves for in-depth knowledge of the societies why the traditional techniques produce it throughout the transcendental subjects. He mainly used archaeological method because it doesn't refer back to any cogito and transcendental subjects and tried to only to establish the regularity of statements. This method is highly essential for uncovering the in-depth knowledge and also associated with historical discourses and space. According to Foucault, knowledge consists of discourses and visibilities. He defined the form of visible as a dispositive. In his archaeological method, these two forms are generally conflicted due to the relation of the power within society, institution, archaeological form, regulatory decision, law, administrative measures, scientific statements, and philosophical and moral proposition are dispositive of discourses within the community throughout history. According to Jules Deleuze, all of which can be read as a diagrams mentioned on his Foucault analyzing because they put forward the network of social relations underlying the form of visible. If they are read diagrammatically, heterogenic characteristic of them suddenly come to light. Looking more closely at the Foucault methods, it's obvious that visibilities are as important as discourses for understanding in deep knowledge of society. Therefore, art objects such as paintings play a crucial role in the understanding of his methodology. He used to read the pictures diagrammatically. Painters such as Edouard Manet and Diego Valesquez particularly interest him a lot because other possibilities of the visibilities are figured out. For example, Edouard Manet, in contrast to overly made material technique visible, why the artists sought to hide the materiality of their pictures in the traditional Western painting methods. Foucault shows how he does this, nothing to remain techniques. Uses of the space of the canvas, uses of the lighting within the picture, and the positioning of the viewing subject. Especially the final technique, which he released to just one picture, called a bar as a polybarger, play a crucial role in his space concept. The painting background is closed off by a mirror that dominates the picture. The objects on the pictorial surface take place differently thanks to the mirror. The mirror's reflection uncovered other possibilities. The painter must be here and he must be there. He must have someone here and he must have no one there. There is a descending gas and there is a ascending gas. Taking these possibilities in concentration, different emplacement and relation might be occur simultaneously. Thereby, the connection and disjunction between pictorial surface and the mirror translate the table into a diagram consisting of different arrangement of objects and subjects positions.
a specific object linking money painting and focus space concept is the mirror. A space concept called heterotopia introduced the term in a lecture for architect in 1967 act as a money's mirror because of its doubling effect. Heterotopias differ from the utopias because they occupy a place. They are also place without place because of showing changing arrangement within everyday life. The information given by his heterotopic concept indicate that space is not defined as a sort of vacuum in which individuals and things can be located. However, it is a set of relationships that define the different positions which cannot be acquired or in any way superimposed in our cities. Heterotopias such as cemeteries, theater and cinemas, libraries and museums, fair and carnivals, holiday camps and ships inject alterity in the sameness and common place of our cities. Moreover, heterotopias related to spatial temporal notions. Therefore, they transform not only normative space, but also the traditional time within continuity. According to the four principles of heterotopias, heterokureni which is the one of the main concern of this research, is linked to the space concept. It is time accumulation and the packs, history and present at the same time. Heterotopias like museum could be linked to a different part of time. The past is not to be told with a big narrative anymore. It is as practical as the present and the future in the museum. According to the these statements of heterotopias, it can be said that they are not a physical space, but can be a diagram that illuminates a set of relationships in physical space. These statements allow a more comprehensive insight into the mechanism of the urban archaeological site in our era. With the heterotopic lens, archaeological site convert into a diagram establish historical fragmentation in postmodern cities. Like cemeteries, archaeological sites connect with the living part of cities because they are mnemonic devices of society, all the daemon death monuments. There are two different methods to tackle this site in cities throughout history. At first, they are physically returned a no earlier state by traditional methods. Therefore, a monument becomes an embodiment of linear time concept in which time has a beginning and an end. Then, contemporary methods came up with because their cultural value increased within postmodern societies. They are interpreted in the context of the present and the future by contemporary methods. A monument becomes an embodiment of nonlinear time concept in which all layers of times are experienced simultaneously. The second method is the one step closer to reality and demonstrate heterotopic and heterochronic potential. Heterotopias stem from filling the void and interpreting sight after the disappearance of the original practices of the monument. Archaeological ruins generate a new arrangement such a museum complex, through which the site is deconstructed its original form and reconstructed its alterity. Over the past decade, many contemporary projects have been designed in archaeological side of cities. A selected design in this study especially element a heterotopic potential of the site because of the doubling effect. The project reflects the original monument but at the same time their alterity. Therefore, they transform the archaeological site into a diagram, which are a network of the relation between ancient and contemporary. The first selected project is the new Acropolis Museum, designed by Bernard Schumi. It is one of the most essential museological event of our century. The museum located 300 meters from the Acropolis and displays the fragments of the Parthenon temple. Shumi designed the location and the proportion of the museum building depending on the Parthenon temple. The fragments of the temple region their initial speciality inside the museum. Therefore, the museum reflects the Parthenon's twin. 
The most crucial feature of the museum is indicating which parts have been lost over time. Loss is accentuated by the empty space. Relationship between the temple and extant and extant fragments provide the experience all historical events of the Acropolis hills at the same time. Moreover, Shumi used the contemporary method, such as dimension, light, void, and transparency, to connect the original. Visitor can image different emplacement and relations simultaneously, which is like a magnet mirror. The new Acropolis Museum acts as a magnet mirror as well as heterotopia for Acropolis Hills because of the connection and disjunction between the original monument and its other reflection. Thanks to the museum heterotopic features, the Acropolis transforms diagrams comprising ancient and contemporary discourses and visibilities. The second selected design is the interpretation of the Basilica of the Sponte in Italy. Eduardo Turasoldi, who is one of the most famous Italian artists, interpreted early Christian Basilica with the majestic wire mesh transparent sculpture located in original archaeological site. This wire mesh sculpture enhanced experiences and established a new dialogue between ancient and contemporary, although he imitated a no earlier state of the Basilica. Transparent installation eliminates visitors that architecture not only physical device but also mnemonic one. Basilica is scared from the past to present and installation of the basilica gives the feeling that it doesn't completely exist. Visitors experience extant non-extant fragments of the basilica by adding their imagination simultaneously. The sculpture acts as a heterotopy of the basilica because of the connection and disjunction between earlier states of the monument and its other reflection. Thanks to the sculpture, the archaeological site transforms a diagram comprising extant and non-extant fragments of the site. Thanks to the examined heterotopic projects, many embodied notions of the archaeological site are uncovered. Social and political space, relation, reflection, fragmentation, contemporary, discontinuity, simultaneous and accumulation are conflict with normative features of the sites. All of these uncovered notions provide to establish a heterogeneous network of the relation between historical places and modern cities. From a wide perspective, this study underlined the potential of the archaeological site in a contemporary context through heterotopy and heterochrony. They allow us to deal with urban archaeology with an interdisciplinary perspective which is involving philosophy, art, architecture and technology. Especially, mirror and diagram connect between historical space and Foucault's heterotopia. They provide to investigate the archaeological site from a new perspective. Heterochrony also connect between history and present. It provides that the archaeological site has a special temporal feature related experience, simultaneous and accumulation. As a result, this study shows that heterotopy and heterochrony enable to interpret historical places with plural relation. Therefore, the approach is a one step closer to reality in our societies, because historical spaces of cities are mnemonic devices which communities experience and image over and over again. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you for your listening.